Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Thank you for joining me today. I have some things to show you that I'm very excited about. So let's jump right in because I don't want this to take forever. Now I have some patterns that I haven't shown you. Uh, these aren't all vintage, but I think they might, yeah, I think they're all out of print. Now, Joanne, the one that I drive to down south, they will often have things in the drawer that aren't in the books, and this was one of them. This is a very easy Butterick, and the pattern number 3030. I really liked these tops. Uh, they are meant to be for woven fabric. Simple raglan sleeves, you can color block and they're deemed very easy. Here's the thing, I don't sew couture. I'm not anywhere close to that skill level. And while I do make a few dressy things, I mostly need very practical clothing that I can wear every day. Now, I know that that new holiday release from Simplicity was not getting any love. They voted it down in almost every chat I've seen about it. However, I'm over there going, hey, I kind of like it. It's not festive. I don't know why they called it a holiday release. It's not like there are great party dresses and sparkly jumpsuits or anything like that. But for comfort in the dead of winter, I love oversized and I love comfortable and that's what it is so anyway you're not gonna see a whole lot of technical sewing on my channel I'm sure this has dawned on a lot of you already but I thought I would just make that disclaimer so this is new look 6760 I pulled it out of the drawer at Joanne and it's got some nice pieces what called out to me was that coat and she's wearing the coat it looks really throwback to the 60s doesn't it i think the dress is really cute too and you get pants in there so that's a good multi-piece pattern then the next two came from ebay vogue 7770 oh i love this this will be a summer dress it's got pockets, and you can see it's just super, super cute. So this is for moderate stretch knits only. And if there's a year on here, I don't see the year. Do I? No, I don't. Darn. Oh, yeah. There is a year. Hang on. We're all on the edge of our seat. What year is this Vogue pattern? 1990. That was worth the wait, huh? And this is a Sandra Betzina pants pattern. Um, might be skirting the line between goofy and chic, but I think I can push it over to chic. I like how the ties are on the side there, not so sure about this deal here, but um, these pants also feature one of my favorite things, which is a bit of a flat waistband in the front and elastic in the back. Vogue 1096. Now, here comes my fabric. I went crazy for knits. When we go up to Fabric Mart, I don't buy what is featured on the website. I don't buy the knits. I don't really buy any of the prints that you might see on the website. They have it all there. It's all for sale, but it's not deeply, deeply discounted like that front room where everything is $1.99. So I thought, well, I'm going to place an order and get some of these beautiful knits while they're on sale. The first one is Paisley. This is an ITY. I loved the muted green and brown. 
Um, I won't go through and belabor this and tell you what the price of everything was. I have two orders here from Fabric Mart. I placed them when the whole site was 60% off, and then I placed another order when knits, were they $3.99? Something like that. Okay, this is a DTY knit. I don't know what DTY stands for, but Fabric Mart says that DTY is a bit thicker than ITY. And I know that ITY stands for interlock twist yarns. They twist the fibers very tightly and then that makes them real. Here's an ITY. That makes them real springy because they're trying to untwist in layman's terms. So an ITY has great stretch. The DTY has a little bit less stretch. This is beautiful. It's a double border print. And I absolutely love that cadet blue. These knits are so gorgeous. This is a double brushed jersey. I'm not a big stripe person, but I'm a color person and those colors are beautiful. I made a simplicity top out of double brushed poly and I decided I really liked working with it. The back of this is a lot more muted than the front. So there is that. I did get a beautiful floral. I think this might be one of my only florals. So this has a gorgeous dusty pink background with great big roses. Who do we think of when we see roses on fabric? But Joy, she loves roses. And I thought this was so pretty. I thought those roses almost looked 3D. Uh, this is, is it a double brushed? It's a double brushed. And it's got a lot of beautiful bouncy stretch both ways. I see a dress. This is called uh, Better Outdoor Gear Manufacturer. They don't list the name of the manufacturer. However, this is organic cotton in a beautiful hunter green. Is that also known as Loden? I think it is. Um, it was $12.99 regular price and I got it 60% off. It feels fantastic. It is very opaque. Not a ton of stretch because it's all cotton, so it doesn't have that good recovery that spandex would give you. So I'm not going to choose anything where I have to stretch it a lot to get it on or off, but um, I loved it because it is high quality, and I think it really is by a better outdoor gear manufacturer. Here we have more double brush jersey in a gorgeous tie-dye featuring mauve and a tawny brown. I flip for mauve. It's one of my favorite colors. And I just thought this one was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful in those colors. Tie-dye, soft, I got two yards. I think I could eke a dress out of that. This I bought with Brad in mind. It is a jersey knit. It is blue. He adores blue. It's got these big squares on it. I don't know if they're diagonal or not. Let's check it out. Yes, they are. And He's going to love the shades of blue. It is navy solid on the back, so that might make some nice, interesting fold-back cuffs on his shirt. These are all knits, so we've got a lot of nice stretch there. This is a stretch velour terry. I hadn't heard of that. Didn't know what it was. $3.90. It's super soft and fuzzy and cuddly on this side. And on this side, which I'm gonna treat as the outside, it's um, not real soft. I mean, it's not stiff, but this side is just fuzzy city. This side is a little more buttoned up. 
and I'm gonna make sleep shorts for Brad for winter. He doesn't ever like to wear long pants to bed, but these will be cool and warm at the same time. Oh, it's just brilliant, isn't it? This is a beautiful ITY in that gorgeous, I call it cadet blue, navy blue, delft blue. And I bought this with my sister in mind. I would love to make her a tunic. ITY is a great fabric for traveling. It doesn't wrinkle. It's easy. It's mostly easy to work with. I have worked with some ITYs that were difficult. And by difficult, my machine didn't want to start sewing on the edge. It would get sucked down into the plate or my needle would just keep going up and down in the same spot. So, you know, it can be a little bit challenging, but I thought this was beautiful. This is an animal print with a twist because, look at this, it's an animal print in all different colors. I absolutely had to get it. Now, it feels like an ITY, but it might be one of those DTYs. I'm gonna look up DTY and I'll put the uh, what that means on the screen for you because I'd like to know myself. This is a DTY. So it's not as super stretchy as an ITY, but that print, ooh, I love it. I absolutely adore it. I got two yards and I believe that it is 60 inches wide sold. Oh, look at this. They call this smoky grape. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Smoky grape, better activewear manufacturer. This is a cotton modal and jersey knit. It was six dollars a yard. The color enchanted me and it's nice and opaque. It feels beautiful very stretchy. Love it. I got a speckled oatmeal colored knit right here. Let's see if you can see those speckles. And this is going to be a sweater for Brad. It looks to me like a sweater knit, but I know that it's not. It's a, I think it's a rayon jersey. Wish I could find their little paper. Got a lot of wash to do. Well, I can't find the little paper, but trust me, it is a jersey. Feels very nice and it's gonna be super warm. There's the paper. It is an inter interlock knit, organic cotton polyester blend, interlock knit, warm as toast. Here's that better outdoor gear manufacturer. When I got the green, I fell in love with it. I went back, the green was wiped out, but they had a little bit of this royal blue left. And so I bought it to make a long sleeve t-shirt for Brad. I'm really gonna try and sew a lot of winter t-shirts for Brad. And last but not least, I thought this was great. This is a gray, heathered gray ponty knit. So it looks a lot like sweatshirt material. And I want to make a Simplicity sweatshirt dress that they have recently released. And it's beautiful, Ponte. It's the kind that is made out of rayon, nylon, and elastane, or lycra. And that was a good deal. I believe this was $6 a yard. I don't really see them putting any of these premium Ponty knits lower than $6 a yard. So those are all my knits that I got from Fabric Mart. I have fabric coming from Mood and I have fabric coming from Fashion Fabrics Club. So stick with me if you love seeing fabric because there's more to come and we're taking a little road trip next week up to Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I've got to go sew like a maniac before the ball game. Now, the Astros won last night. 
the Nationals are leading the series with two wins, so we got to see what happens tonight. And they're playing in Washington. But my brother-in-law called about tickets, and he got a quote of $376 for standing room only. So he said, I think we'll watch from home. <laughs> All right, that's all. 15 minutes. Bye. Hope you're sewing. Hope you're having good luck with your sewing. May all your seams be strong and smooth. I'll see you next time. Bye.